Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about the movies, obviously, TV shows, merchandise, I don't know, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in some shape or form, then yeah, there's a good chance I'll talk about it. So, of course, I'm reviewing the third part of this film series. And, I, I, honestly, I don't know why I'm bothering with this, really. I mean, yes, I do have a thing when it comes to reviewing franchises. I, if I want to review one installment, I might as well review them all. Unless there's, like, a specific reason for me to not do that. But, that's basically the general rule. Might as well go for them all. Again, unless there's a specific reason. But, anyway, point being is that it, it, it sucks. This is terrible. And... This, uh, some people actually thought this was the best entry of the series yet. What are you talking about? This is the best one of the bunch, but so far. Best one of the series so far. What do you mean? It's the exact same movie. Over and 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 over. And over. It's the same damn thing again. Uh, I feel like, why, why do I bother talking about the plot? Have you seen the... The first movie, it's the same thing. It's just watching the same movie three times over. Again. But then again, it's, a, it's one of these uh, original movie type mo things. Yeah, it's a TV movie, so not that I was expecting much anyway. But then again, not that I was expecting much from the previous two installments. So, my expectations, what expectations? They, they were lower than dirt. But, so, okay. I feel like this has been one of the worst trilogies out there. And if they make a fourth one, which they probably would, then it'd be the worst quadrilogy he's out there. <sighs> Man, uh, I mean, I, I watched it, okay? I, trying to, I was trying to give this a sh series a, sh uh, a chance, okay? I was trying to give this series a chance. But maybe they will learn the next time. Or 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 the next time. Maybe they will just learn. But no. Yeah, that's the thing when it comes to franchises, folks. I mean, maybe it's a me thing, but if this starts off bad, it's just going to be bad for the rest of the series. Like this, for example. Uh, but, yeah, I, I was trying to, I'm was i trying to muster the energy to talk about this because, like I was saying a moment ago, it's the same exact movie. Again. I'm saying again too many times, and this video just started. But yeah, it's just uh, it, it's it's generic. It's forgettable. The characters are three are not three dimensional. The one dimensional. They're not real written. It, the entire the plot. Even give it. Let me say a plot. It's paper thin. It's just an excuse for these dance numbers, and that that's it. And the colorful cat. Uh, the colorful costumes. It's all. It's just an excuse for all that. That's it. Same exact thing like the previous two. Ugh, Christ. Hey, Mr. Monkey, what the hell? I see you have another new friend. You sure like to make a lot of friends, though. Uh, I noticed that. Annoying asshole. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. I feel like I'm repeating myself here because I have the exact same complaints as the previous two installments. And in this one, I have the same exact complaints. Right here. There's like zero character dilemma. Not really. And of course, just like the first movie, it steps in those on two feet. Anyway, all right, whatever. Let's just get this over with, I guess. Whatever. I don't feel like doing this. This is bad. Uh, anyway, let's talk about the plot, I guess. Whatever. W what am I doing in my life? So, we're again going to be focusing on the children of the infamous villains from the Disney movies. And yes, they're at it again with the singing and the dancing and all that. So, okay... They return to the Isle, oh. the Exile of Lost, to us recruit a batch of villain offspring to, jo to join in, I guess, together in some ways, I suppose. So, yeah, we would see our main character from the previous movies, and, of course, along with a few others, visit the, the Exile of Lost to pretty much choose four new villain kids to basically uh, take this place, I guess. And, of course, they basically do pick somebody. 
if somebody is chosen, obviously, to be in the new group of villains, I suppose, why are they villains? I don't know why. Because, I don't know, because the plot said so, I guess. So, yeah. So, okay, in The Little Mermaid, the original one, of course, I'm pretty sure a lot of you remember this character. He has kids. I don't know why, but there you go, I guess. But, wait a minute. Like in the Little Mermaid 2, didn't Ariel already have a child? Why wasn't this ever brought up? Like, what? Okay. So, just gonna ignore that. Okay, sure, whatever. Anyway, even... Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you remember the Prisoner Frog. The point being, yes, even in this film, the villain character also has a child. I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, okay, sure. But then I'm pretty sure a lot of you also also remember Hercules as well because apparently if you remember that villain, uh, yeah, Hades. He also has a child. How did this happen? If you've seen the movie, these movies, you know what I'm talking about. How did any of this happen? Like, okay, so and he's and he's pretty pissed. He's angry at the main character and whatnot. Of course, he he wants to do things. Sure, his his father's Hades, uh, I guess. But, to make this even more odd, I'm pretty sure a lot of you remember the original Cinderella, the good one. And, yeah, she has a grandchild. That happened. Okay. So, I guess we're just going to ignore the live action remake, right? I mean, it sucks, but I'm just saying. So, not in this continuity, not this version of the character. But, like, hold on a second. Uh, didn't the third one... They did the whole time travel thing. Wouldn't that, like, mess up everything in some ways? Uh, uh, um, okay. Well, what? I'm trying to understand this continuity. But, okay, like I said in my previous video, is that, do the whole, uh, thing with the villains fighting each other. I mean, we can still go off on that in some ways. I like how this could take place in the aftermath. Of said events of that movie, or well, that version of the movie, if I'd done it. I'm, I'm pretty much trying to wrap things up, so to speak. Of course, in my previous video, I'm ref I was referring to her, like she did some crazy stuff, I suppose. Oh and actually, she won the battle, I guess, I suppose. I want some assistance of some kind, I guess. In other words, what I'm saying is that, okay, maybe not she herself needs some assistance, but the good guys need some assistance, I guess, to be much make this make more sense because the 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 bad guy character i just showed you a moment ago she proved to be really strong not against the other villains and now she needs to be taken down so she proves to be a worthy opponent so to speak so pretty much everyone else would have to pick other people yeah picking other villains uh to fight her the have the main character and her few friends i guess Picking other villains. We're going to keep that. That part of the story can be kept. But it's just, I guess, changing up a bit of the context, the reasoning, I guess, I suppose. At least change it up somewhat. At least change it up somewhat enough to make it more different. But obviously, the whatever attempts the good guys were trying to do, she was trying to outsmart them because she's like one step ahead somehow. And then somebody on the good guy, like maybe a scientist goes rogue on the good guy's side and wants to pretty much nuke the island. But of course, the thing is that there's going to be, yeah, a bit extreme, don't you think? Because the idea is that maybe the good guy, the, I mean, the yeah, the hero lady, heroine, could step in. Hey, that's, that's taking this too far. She might be a bad person, but that doesn't mean we should murder her in such an extreme way. So you could, even though she may be a bad person. So you can do like a whole more dilemma kind of a thing here. But, uh, I mean, yes, it would stop the threat, sure. But you have to go to a such extreme end to do so. Yeah, dude, like I said, I'm, I'm some sort of more dilemma kind of thing. I don't know. Still treat the, the villain as a person because the, the villain is still a human being after all, even if the person is bad. What's the phrase I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, in due process, use diplomacy. Uh, fair trial, you, you, whatever, however you say that, you know what I'm talking about. But as I mentioned a moment ago, I'm trying to give this suggestion on how to fix the premise here, like it did in the uh, previous two movies, because my major issue, like I just said earlier, it's the same movie. 
It's the same damn movie all over again. It's the same exact movie. I didn't have to sit through all this just so it'd be the same damn thing. Again. Ugh. I, I can't just watch the first movie three times over and it would have been the same effect. No difference. Ugh. Man. What am I doing in my life? Ugh. And Mr. Malky, you, you should try to look for work. What are you doing over there? You, you're, you're weird. You're really weird. Anyway, it's whatever. I don't know. Whatever. What I'm trying to understand here, what's the message exactly? Like, okay. I know, like, in the first movie, they're trying to have, like, some sort of message, which in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Obviously, I'm fine with that. Uh, like, I know, it comes to, like, the... I know a lot of people nowadays will, will want to talk about, like, political issues, and I make uh, some sort of comparison, like, uh, like, immigration issues, and stereotyping and building a wall. It's like Donald Trump did, and that's what this movie trying to do, build a wall, uh, and make sure certain people won't get past certain, a certain wall or whatever, like the bad people should stay on the island while others go free. Maybe you shouldn't judge others just because of the past, of past mistakes, and maybe trying to embrace your presence and improve yourself, and don't stereotype anybody just because they have bad parents or whatever. That, that's all fine and dandy. I'm fine with it. You know, in trying to improve yourself. Okay, we all human. We all make mistakes. Sure. Okay, whatever. <sighs> but the movie doesn't do anything with this. This movie doesn't do anything with it. And yes, of course, uh, segregating people just because you're viewed as a bad person make will make so, a certain individual mad, which is understandable. That does happen. Of course, it's going to piss you off. Don't judge. Don't judge somebody by uh, past actions, like what the parents might have done. Okay, sure. I just want to um, improve their lives. Sure. And be f treated fairly. Yeah, th that's great. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Just be treated fairly. I want it to be treated fairly. Sure. Again, this movie doesn't really do all that much with that kind of a theme throughout the movie. Not really. It's, again, it's tripping its own two feet. It's... The, these kinds of themes can be complex and, you know, deep in some ways. However, again, just like the previous two movies, it doesn't go beyond the service level, like, like at all. So, which is kind of weird. <sighs> Speaking of ideas that don't go nowhere, really, like, you see the girl in the pink, right? Her grandma wants, oh yeah, her, her grandmama wants her to be labeled as the queen, so putting a lots and lots and lots lots of pressure on her soldiers to be pretty much elected as queen, I guess, of some land somewhere, I suppose. Yeah, family expectations. Family expectation can be a thing in the movie. I'm fine with that. And how the previous generation, or the generation from that before that, can have the kids... Put them in high pest on it and have to reach such high standards. Obviously, it doesn't isn't just restricted to young kids, but also young adults as well. Put a lot of pressure on, on just adults in general, regardless of age. There's lots of family pressure on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. This could cause said individual to re become rebellious, understandably so. So okay, again, it's it just pisses me off like. This movie has the right ideas. There's some good ideas here to be had. But it it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything with these move with these ideas. Like at all. It does it does nothing. It does nothing with these uh themes. And then there's a whole idea of you know having showing compassion, forgiveness, you know, accepting, tolerance or whatever. Okay, you can throw those in there, sure, okay, whatever. But again, it doesn't do anything. Not really. It doesn't do anything with these kinds of themes. It's just uh, on those like more surface level thing. Which again contradicts the whole idea. <sighs> just I don't know anymore. Just 
right? And and of course, there's a whole idea of having strong female leads. A woman can do what she wants. There's a new new age. Women can do more things compared to way back then. I kind of got feminist kind of a thing going on, which is not surprising really, considering the fact that in the previous two films, the there was a woman as a lead, so just, this is pretty much considering that thread. So this this, this isn't a criticism, really, because I'm not. It's not out of place. It's not like oh, it took a left turn out of nowhere. No, no, no. It's not like the two first movies had male leads, then suddenly a female one in the third. So no, it's not. It's not like that. There was always a female lead, which is fine. But my criticism is what they do with that, because again, it feels like they don't do much. Not really. Like, they don't do a whole lot whatsoever with this kind of a thing. Wow. Okay. Whatever. And I was like, Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? Why are you just running around, aren't you? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hope you burn all that energy. It's going to be a pain in the ass later. I mean, really. Oh, man. Just, wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, whatever. Just Let me just wrap things up here. Ah. I like to wrap things up, but I keep getting bothered here. Anyway, so, okay, whatever. So, it, okay, the thing is that, okay, whatever, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, just whatever. And, again, okay, you want to do the whole parental thing to the main character and have our main character experience, experience a dothood in a sense of having being parent, uh, and, uh, a parent? Yeah, I'm all for that, sure. That's another idea that doesn't really get used all that much either. It just seems like, again, like they, they have the right idea, really, for this movie. They have the right idea. Oh, boy. And, again, to be perfectly clear, folks, I have no issue with having the main character of any Disney movie. Live action or animated or a mixture of the two, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine to have... The main character have a child, sure, whatever. It, I'm fine with that, but it just it just seems wasted. And God damn it, what the hell? Are you looking for work? You better looking for work. Yeah, uh, hope you are. Jesus, you're you're a lazy bum. That's what you are, slacker. Anyway, oh Christ, this is this guy. Anyway, uh, okay, yes, of course, this became rather popular. As it was viewed. Quite a bit, actually. So, there's that. And, um... Okay. I don't know why people liked it, but sure. Okay, whatever floats your boat, people. Okay. Whatever. I don't, how did this get an approved rating? How? About, if I recall correctly, about a 78 percentage approval rating... You, you call this a good movie? This? This was a good movie? Are you serious, people? I You have to be kidding me. This doesn't make any sense. But, uh, of course, it's just, again, like the previous two films, this was just an excuse for this elaborate sets, nice costumes, makeup, and these musical numbers. That, that That's it. It was just all for that. I mean, yeah, the costumes are nice. The makeup is actually pretty good. And the elaborate sets are actually are actually pretty solid too. It just came off like it, it was just all an excuse just for that. Nothing more that nothing less. Just that. Just like the superficial stuff. And it doesn't like it doesn't mean anything, like at all. <sighs> okay. It it's, it just it just seems shallow. That's all this is it's it's just shallow. I don't know. Just um uh, okay. And some people had actually stated that this movie is both a satisfying final and the end of an era. What? It's the same exact thing. Again. And I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Like I was saying earlier. It's, it's just like a repeat. Like, somebody actually gave that a, a, a nice rating. I said that. And like, okay. Because there was some unfinished business from the second movie, which lit. And, um, I mean, and then whatever was going on in part two, how to let bring in part three. And somehow it was, that was a good collusion, I guess. I mean, how, 
I don't, I don't know. This was actually was, was received. At, how much did they pay to, to say that? I mean, really? Oh, Christ. All right, Mr. Monkey. You know, you're a pain in the ass. Oh, boy. Here. Yeah, that's what you get. Anyway, the thing is that I was referring to reviews like this. Like, seriously? This this is what made a good movie? That, that's all it takes? It's, it's not good. Like, at all. That's, the story falls apart in a lot of ways. I mean, okay, it's it's not Mono's Hands of Fate bad. So it's not um, it's not so poor like that, by any means. Uh, sure. And... Yeah, this looks like it was made by a bunch of professionals. I'll give it that. So on a visual uh, front and on a technical level, yeah, it was. It's made by a bunch of professionals, and it looks like it was made by a bunch of professionals. Sure, that that that's fine. I, okay, but again, story wise, it it just no, it just didn't. Story wise, it's just not that good, really. I mean, the music is decent, because the music here is solid, because when you think about it, that's all this movie is. This is it's just a big old musical. I mean, granted, you could always argue that, you know, musicals are my thing, but that shouldn't matter anyway, because if it's a good movie, it's a good movie, it shouldn't matter. Regardless if it's my type of movie or not. Same thing with, uh, oh, it's just for kids, you know, yada, that's, that's stupid, I hate when people do that, 20 years, oh, it's a, it's for kids, and somehow that, that, that's enough, again, if anything, kids' movies should be held in such a high, high standard, because when you think about it, kids are like clay that haven't been molded yet, they're like blank pieces of paper that haven't been drawn on yet, you have to help them be shaped, shaping up in a good way. I don't know. Just, just this is ridiculous. It's just used as, as a, as a defense. If when a kid's movie is like this is bad, and uh, just I don't know anymore. Just um, uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, but and the thing is that if they wouldn't make any more in this series, when you think about it, this in any future installments, we'll have to find a different concept altogether. Of course. And I don't know what they can do, really. And I guess, like I was saying, the target audience is for kids. So it kind of feels like it's kind of limiting its range in storytelling to some extent. I don't know what they can do. I'm sure they can still add drama and whatnot. I'm fine with having drama in a kid's movie. And to be perfectly clear, if you're going to have drama in a kid's movie, fine. If you're going to talk about heavy subject matters in a kid's movie, fine. That, that, that's perfectly fine. You don't talk about heavy subject matter in a kid's film. It's, it's a film, and it, it's fine. It just depends how it's done, obviously. It just depends uh, with class, with taste, of course, if it's done properly. Uh, let, let me just wrap things up. All right, I know this video has gone on long enough than it should have. But yeah, okay. But, uh... I don't know anymore. Just Christ. Yeah, of course, the dialogue is very good. Not really. As for the acting, uh, the acting is serviceable, I guess. If I'm feeling generous, I suppose. But ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, it's, I just feel like there's too many flaws weighing it down to actually make it really enjoyable than it should have been. And a lot of people are trying to hype these movies up. Yeah, a lot of people really enjoyed all three movies. I don't understand why, but okay, sure. To each stone, I guess. I want to question people's tastes if people like these movies so much, but whatever. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, if they do any more, like I was saying, I don't know what else they can do. I don't know. And, yeah, m my mind is still set in the same way. I didn't like none of these movies. And I know I just got to watching and reviewing the shorts that was based around this series of films. There was an animated short and a live action short, which I have already covered. I mean, those were okay, because they were just a few minutes. They were not very long. So, as that, they were okay. But a full-length feature, and that's like roughly two hours, that's just torture. Anyway, whatever, just, like I said, let me, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Whatever. I'll give this one a Novavol rating of a four. 
0.7 out of 10. It gets a 4.7 out of 10. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later. <sighs> well, folks, see ya, I guess. Yeah.